Now we're offshore in Miami on a different boat than we were with Captain Jack down in, in the Keys in Marathon, but we're testing dome radars there. Now we're testing our brand new DRS-25A NXT. It's a 200 watt solid state radar, and if you're serious about fishing, this is the kind of radar product that you need to detect birds and long range targets. An open array radar, as opposed to a dome radar, has the ability to focus the radar energy coming out in a much narrower region. That gives us a lot more power on the target and a lot more range detection capabilities. And when serious fishermen are out looking for targets, especially birds and other weak targets out there, that's the kind of performance that they need. Let's take a look at the capabilities of this 25 NXT radar in range detection. The detection performance of our 200 watt solid state 96 mile radar is unheard of. In this case, we're offshore in Miami and we're actually looking at targets at 72 miles away. It's unbelievable. And when you're serious about fishing, this is the kind of performance that you need to detect birds and other weak targets at long ranges. It's the difference between bringing home a catch when it's calm out and you're not seeing anything, but when you're actually looking at this radar in bird mode, you can detect targets and birds twice, three times as far as our competitors. So I'm on System A's boat, and let's compare the range detection performance of their radar as opposed to the Furuno open array radar. This is also an open array radar. It's a 12 kilowatt, four foot antenna. Let's take a look at the range detection and what it can do. On this radar, we're looking at a maximum range of 72 nautical miles. And if I look at the furthest target and touch on it, you can see that I can bring it up and it's about 38 nautical miles away. This is a good example of the difference of the NXT performance of that 200 watt solid state pulse capability. Now that you've seen the dome radars, we want to show you the difference you will see with an open array radar with 200 watts of power and a 1.9 degree beam width. Here you can see a marker just a few feet away from the bow of the boat and it clearly displaying it on the radar. You can also clearly see the small boat coming at us here on the screen with two markers on the right and a jetty on the left. Notice the target separation between the boat and the jetty. This is due to the higher power output and the smaller beam width. As the radar antenna increases in size, you will get a better target resolution, which makes your radar picture clearer. Again, take a look at how close this marker is to the boat, and it clearly shows up on the radar and tracks it in real time. But the NXT radar is so precise that it is even picking up small targets just above the water. Look at this rock, rock, tree, and jetty. Simply incredible. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the bell below to get notifications for the next time we release new videos. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.